Hi everybody, this is Stefan from EDC Austria and welcome back to part 2 of our 24 hour ration of the Russian FSB. Today we are starting with breakfast and since I already had two drinks yesterday I'm using part of yesterday's milk that I had in the fridge because I only have one tea and one beverage left. Here we have the apple jam and here we have it says stuffing sausage amateur which kind of so sounds like a porn name but this will be I guess some luncheon meat. And of course the crackers. So let's try first the, the apple jam. So there's really a nice piece. And this is something they really only have in Russia because it's not a jam and it's not a puree, it's somewhere in the middle. Now let's try this stuffing sausage, but the ingredients are pork and beef, so I would guess it's luncheon meat. Yes indeed, oh no! That is actually a sausage a stuffed one that maybe should have been heated. No, not with this consistency. This is part of the sausage. Oh yeah, it tastes like luncheon meat. But here I wonder what the white stuff is, if, if that's lard or fat. I hope it's lard. Indeed it was lard and this tastes like very fine luncheon meat from pork and beef. This is really high quality stuff here. And it literally melts on your tongue. Well, virtually, not literally. Now let's see how our milk has fared over the night. Still tastes great because I now found out I was supposed to boil the milk and use it completely hot so I hope I didn't make a mistake and will now be punished with some sickness. But the breakfast as so much is finished now, so we'll use the other wipe and see what's different about that because the first wipe we already used yesterday. Let's see if it, no it really doesn't smell like anything. And I will finish with my apple jam and my luncheon meat. And next I see you either for the beef stew or the vegetables and beef. Okay, from what I could gather this is a beef stew. So I'll prepare this and to drink I'll drink the only cold drink that was provided in this Russian which I think is a berry drink. Again I'm using the long spoon from the US MREs for that. Okay, and since I can't get the cooker hot at home, 
I'll use a store-bought flameless ration heater. I need to order new ones, by the way, otherwise I couldn't continue these. And you just fill it to this line here after you put in whatever you want to heat up. So in with that and then the right amount of water, then you fold it over and use the tape to fix it. And soon it should start doing its thing. I can already hear it a bit. Yeah, now you can see it. Okay, and before I leave while it cooks, I test the berry drink. Like in the last Russian ration, this tastes like a fruit drink, but they forgot to put the flavor in. So you know it's supposed to taste like something, but it really doesn't. Doesn't taste like anything. Just slightly sweet, but no distinct flavor. That's very odd. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Okay, and we are back. First, let's take the main out of its cooking element. Which is usually not that difficult unless you have really metal tins because they get so hot that it's hard to grab on. Then we use our can opener the, that was included in this ration. Okay, I'm not sure that's a beef stew exactly. First I gotta wipe my hands from that because a lot of fat got out there. This really seems like one solid piece. I can only find this spoon, so we'll take this and check it out. It's very tender, very soft. Yeah, that's beef. Very tender, very smooth beef. And nothing else. But my hands are so oily now from opening that with this can opener because it over flooded immediately. I take one of these for good measure. Yeah, and there is nothing else in there, no vegetables or anything. So this is really just a beef. It's high quality beef, which you can taste, but still, when it said beef stew in the translator, I expected it to come with something. But this goes down really nicely. I can't imagine anyone not liking this, except if you are a vegetarian, of course. But if you are a vegetarian in other than the American, French or British army, you are pretty much out of luck, I think, when it comes to rations. One piece more. That really was high quality beef, but just a piece of beef with nothing else. And the last meal, which I'll have in a little bit, is some, also some 
meat with vegetables this time. This time it says it in the title and I'm gonna check out the fruit stick. See you then. Hi, now we are at the last meal. Meat with beans and vegetables. This is my last meal of this ration. I can drink it with some tea, which is the only beverage I have left. Since I can't drink coffee, I only had one cold drink and two teas in this package, plus the milk, but that was supposed to be drank hot. Now we are ready in our flameless ration heater again. And this time I will not do it to the fill line, but rather the amount they said. Just want to see if that works just as good or worse or whatever. Okay, now we let that sit here. It should be activated any second now. And here we have our only nicety, which is a fruit stick. So let's see what a fruit stick exactly is. Oh, this looks a lot like a first strike bar. Now the heater goes. Yeah, this is chocolate and a bunch of fruits just pressed together. I'm sure that's very, that's full of calories and protein and so on and it tastes very, very good but not much to tell, just the outer layer is chocolate and inside a bunch of dried out fruits. Let's just say if they had this in stores, I would buy it. Okay, I'll see you soon when this has, has finished boiling. Okay, we are finished here, so let's open this up. And as you can see, this is already overfilled, so I'm not using the can opener again that was delivered with this ration because you saw in the last meal it spilled over and it caused me to have completely oily hands for a while. So I'll just open it with a knife. That looks great here. I see some beans, not much else yet, but I'm sure it's there. I also don't have any of the spoons left, so I need to use a spoon. Sorry if this one isn't that authentic now. My tea is also finished. So let's see what's in there. Oh, there are big pieces of meat actually. Let's try the beans first. Yep, they taste great, like from a very, very weak chili with beans. Now, let's try a mix. This is too beef and not pork, but the mixture of beef and beans is really nice. I can't really see much of any other vegetable inside here. Maybe it's in the sauce or something, but visible there are only the beans and the meat. 
Okay, let's do this here. This for sure was a different meat than I had in my last, in my earlier ration today. It tasted very different. But all in all, this ration was kind of a miss. Because it says you get 3847 calories, but with the three meals and that one pate and the fruit stick, I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work out. And also it would have been maybe nice to give a second drink or stuff like that, that even the normal soldiers ha have in their rations. I don't know why the FSB is treated so poorly when it comes to rations. But this ration is not something I can recommend. Sure, if you're hungry, you'll eat it, but that's not the point. You want to be eating something good too. And the, the IRP from the Russians, the normal ration has seven variants. This has only three and they are only marginally different. And if you have to eat that for a few days, must be terrible. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to be informed about new videos, please subscribe. Then they appear in your subscription time timeline on YouTube. I would appreciate that a great deal. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Have a great day. Bye bye.